North Texas has a chance to be right in the front seat when it comes to developing the Hyperloop. This is a module traveling hundreds of miles an hour in an elevated vacuum tube. That's kind of the best way to describe it. Let's get more. Jack Fink live in Arlington to dive a little bit deeper into this and what it really would mean for us. Jack? Well, Doug, before Virgin's Hyperloop One can become a reality, it's got to be certified by the federal government. And North Texas is competing with other regions across the country for a test track, among other things, for Virgin's project. It's like an airplane speeds on the ground. So at high elevations, you can go fast. Virgin has been showing off its Hyperloop One as it continues to develop the high speed technology outside of Las Vegas. After making it to the second round, regional transportation planners here in North Texas submitted nine proposed sites for Virgin to choose from to build a six mile test track plus a final assembly center and operations and safety training center. We're centrally located. We have major airports. Uh, people from all over the world can come and see it. We're growing at a million people a decade since 1960. Major universities of, of interest. Why, why shouldn't it be? Here. Among the sites Virgin Hyperloop One will choose from include two in Dallas. One would start at the former Naval Air Station Dallas, now known as Hensley Field, and end up at Dallas Executive Airport. The other would start at Dallas Executive Airport and end up at I-45. DFW Airport is another proposed site along with one in the city of Arlington. Because of the uh, capability to move people faster and the quantity of people, it really presents an incredible opportunity here, not only for our region, but throughout the world. Mayor Jeff Williams says last summer at AT&T Stadium, Virgin displayed the module that will carry people and cargo through the vacuum tube. We have never seen a time when we have more opportunity in improving transportation. And North Texas leaders are hoping to hear more from Virgin about its Hyperloop One project sometime this spring. And also, transportation planners are considering the Hyperloop technology in general to carry passengers and perhaps cargo from Dallas to Arlington to Fort Worth and then possibly from Fort Worth down to Laredo and into Mexico. Live in Arlington, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.